Hello, good day everyone. Sir Kevin here and uh, um, I'm here to record uh, our our class for, for this day. Uh, how, uh, please, uh, please pardon me that I won't be able to attend you live because I'll be, uh, I'll be uh, in a top management meeting later this afternoon. Uh, yeah, uh, in, our, in our time. Okay, so uh, we are proceeding with our discussion. We're through with the prelims. Uh, we have three chapters there. And we talk about the generalization of uh, the topics in, in entrepreneurship management. And uh, this is part two, no? And this is uh, midterms and we are on the initiating entrepreneurial venture. So should we start uh, doing business, what we'll be doing? So for our first topic for uh, this midterms is innovation, the creative pursuit of ideas. So how do we make no? How do we make uh, uh, ideas or business solutions to societal problems? So, without much further ado, let's proceed. Our chapter, uh, our chapter objectives are to explore the opportunity identification process. So, how do we make or identify those opportunities and make this as, as a business? Number two, to define and illustrate the sources of inno innovative ideas of entrepreneurs. So, where can we get the ideas for business or innovation number three to examine the role create role of creativity and to review the major components of creative process knowledge accumulation incubation process idea experience evaluation and implementation so where do uh, this uh, business starts that the business idea starts no how how do they come about and to present ways of developing personal creativity recognize relationship develop a functional perspective Use your brains and eliminate modeling mindsets. Okay, so let's start. let's start. Uh, by the way, um, to introduce four major steps of innovation. Uh, yeah, uh, I think I've discussed this already uh, on our initial meetings now, but uh, let, let's uh, tackle that later and to review some of the major myths associated with innovation and to define the ten principles of innovation. Okay, so. Uh, how do we search for new ideas? No. So new ideas are the essential part of entrepreneurship because uh, these ideas create opportunities. Yeah, creates opportunities. Of course, yeah, you can see, observe from our from our uh, environment or our society that uh, this is happening, and you can uh, you can create a solution out of it. So it comes from the problem the the creative pursuit of ideas and that is what they call the innovation process okay so the first step for any entrepreneurs is the identification of good idea so you need to search for good ideas and that is never never really easy no? opportunity recognition can lead to both personal and societal wealth remember we are talking about the uh, social responsibility and entrepreneurship and we are doing business not just no not just for uh, for uh, our our benefit but also with for the societal uh, societal wealth no so we can create uh, business ideas that could help the society and of course would help us back okay so uh, So, how entrepreneurs do what they do? No? Yung mga successful entrepreneurs uh, has these characteristics or uh, things in their mind or in their, in their activities. No? So, uh, that involves creative thinking and systematic analysis. Of course, they think about what is happening. I think that's a question in prelim. Why do we need to understand trends? No? Uh, okay. Seek out unique opportunities to fill needs and wants. Remember, uh, the demands from our customers are coming from uh, the needs and wants of customers. Turn problems into opportunities. Right? I saw Facebook post uh, yesterday about sa bagyo. And then, ginawa nilang pagkakakitaan yung pagtawid ng mga taong nakasapatos no, dun sa baha. baha. So yun yung, uh, they, they turn problems into opportunities and recognize that problems are to solution, what demand is the supply. Diba? Look at the lo logic. No? So that's uh, the idea of the business. 
Okay, so we have different sources of innovative uh, ideas. Uh, take a look at this. Uh, unexpected occurrences, mga hindi natin inaasahan na ang mangyayari. But uh, we take advantage of it. No? Okay? Uh, incongruity, so that means uh, you're, you're solving inconveniences. No? Uh, mabilis lang. No? Process needs, uh, like uh, tayo. Kailangan natin ng specific na produkto. No, na, yan, tulad ng sugar-free and caffeine-free coffee. Uh, the industry and market changes. Remember that uh, things have changed in our industry. Demographic changes, uh, the data or uh, the distribution of people. So, how do how do we perceive on the data analytics? Halimbawa, marami, tulad nito, halimbawa, maraming... Uh, maraming matatandang tao sa inyong lugar no? so you can see from that uh, from that data what can you offer or what problems will you try to address and then perceptual changes no? the exercise aerobics this has something to, to do with trends and preferences no? the growing concern for fitness in the, the knowledge based concepts such as uh, the mobile phone technologies or and uh, the uh, the robotics. Also, uh, things had changed in the kahit pa paano, we, we got to uh, to roam around those ideas and make those as uh, as uh, marketable solution. So, dito papasok yung malaking uh, malaking uh, contribution ng trends sa negosyo. No? So, there are societal trends, the aging demographic, the health and fitness growth, and the senior living. So there's something changing sa society, no? sa grupo ng mga tao. So the, in some points, they are calling this demographic trends. No? Okay. We also have the technological trend then right now. Ito also online shopping. That's uh, e-commerce, internet advances, and uh, the cell phone technology where everything is within or uh, inside your mobile phones or uh, into your mobile phones. Okay. And then the economic trend, such as uh, the higher disposable income that happened after the after the uh, train law implementation, no. And then also, to the dito, it's a problem. The economic trend is, uh, mataas yung inflation, mataas yung presyo, no? So what are the opportunities lies ahead or, or lying ahead, no? So kung nakita natin pahirap na pahirap yung buhay, no. Dito na uso ngayon yung mga 20 silog, no? dati uh, 20 lang, siguro 30 na ngayon. No? But uh, how do you address those economic trends? And uh, the government trends, no? the increased regulations, petroleum prices, and there is yung mga batas that are affecting, no? that are affecting our, uh, our way of living and uh, that could affect also uh, the needs in the society. Okay? So what is the role of creative thinking here? No? So, the creative, creativity is the generation of idea that results in the improved efficiency of effective or effectiveness of a system. So, there are two important aspects of creativity. First is the process. The process is goal-oriented. It is designed to attain solution to a problem. And the people, the resources that determine the solution. So, dalawa. So, how do you make that process? And sino yung gumagawa niyan? So, sa lesson natin yung pag-usapan din natin yung process, hindi lang yung tao, kundi of course, yung tao tinitrain yan to, uh, to be better in uh, management. No? Okay, so, uh, what are the two approaches to creative, uh, creative problem solving? We have an adapter no? that uh, adapts to problem solving. No? And then... Uh, the innovator, no, an innovator, uh, ibig sabihin, uh, one step ahead yan. Anyway, so, look at the disparity between the two. No? So, uh, an, an adapter employs a disciplined, precise, methodologic, uh, methodol, uh, methodic, methodical, methodological sa, ano, sa ibang mga uh, terms. Uh, while an innovator approaches task from unusual angle. So, seeing, kumbaga, silver linings from uh, the dark clouds no parang ganun. 
So he's concerned with solving rather than finding problems at an adapter. But innovator is discover problems in avenues of solution. So uh, you can go back with this uh, with this uh, comparison between an adapter and innovator. So most likely, uh, uh, a, an entrepreneur doesn't have just to be an adapter, but also always going outside of the box. No? So it breaks the cycle of um, solving problems, but uh, making those as a solution. No? Okay, so uh, just to show you a concept map of the knowledge and learning process, so how do you distill ideas into opportunities? Siempre, uh, these other factors helps you, no? to distill ideas into opportunities. So for your personal work, experience, education, yung pinag-aralan mo, tandaan ninyo, party lang ang pinag-aaralan ninyo, no? dun sa kakayahan ninyo. No? Your specific interest and knowledge, uh, I think it's discussed in lesson 1 or 2, that uh, uh, importante na uh, gusto mo yung ginagawa mo, may interest ka sa ginagawa mo, sa negosyo mo, so it helps you to run the business. No? Prior customer understanding, that's data analytics, of course. You know, uh, you know your customer or the, uh, the behavior of your customer. What you know about the market knowledge. Dito papasok yung tinatawag nating experiences ano? uh, sa field. No? So, uh, kung ikaw ay nagtatrabaho sa, ano, no? sa, uh, dito, sa ganong industry, so of course you will be happy uh, that prior market knowledge. Okay? So, kanya nga napaka-importante ng experience no lalo sa mga nagtatrabaho sa corporate o sa mga negosyo, no? So, the nature of creative process is that uh, this process can be developed and improved, no? Kasi it's a process and unti-unti uh, you can improve the true time. Some individuals have a, cre a greater aptitude for creativity than others, no? Mas active yung right brain niya kaysa sa left left brain no may mga tao ganun no so this is the typical creative process the phase one is background or knowledge accumulation parang sa research no so syempre you just have to know the background of the study and of course mangalap ka muna di ba mangalap ka muna and then the incubation process is developing the hypothesis no ibig sabihin na uh, pinag-aaralan mo ngayon what could be the solution. No? You incubate what could be a better solution or uh, uh, how does that be debunked. The idea experience is the trying, kumbaga, within the idea, no? uh, how do you think uh, it will come? Ano? Kanyang, ito yung testing the hypothesis naman. In the phase first implementation and evaluation and implementation. Syempre susubukan mo, no? Look at that. It's a process, no? And then pag may mali, balik ka dun sa incubation and the idea experience or might as well you may, you might revert back to the background or accumulation of the knowledge. Okay? So what stops you from having creative ideas, no? For uh, for <clears throat> developing creative ideas. No, is uh, these words yung uh, na. Sabi nga, uh, you won't be successful if you won't try. No? Sabi nga, uh, alam ko kanta yun ng eraser heads, di ba? Uh, na pag hindi mo sinubukan, walang mangyayari. Di ba? So that's the same thing as I've told you with Michael Jordan. No? Uh, the the shot that you miss is the shot that you won't take, no? Okay? So, isa pa that uh, an error cannot be a mistake unless you refuse to correct it, okay? So, these words can't, no? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, yeah. Uh, these uh, negative, uh, negative uh, comments or uh, statements, no? Are... Are affecting your creative uh, idea no? your uh, creative idea generation uh, uh, you put finality 
remember even in remember in even in research diba you try to test a hypothesis kahit na that has uh, lesser chances of happening diba so uh, this is the whole process creative process this is the concept map look at that at any rate you can have that creative idea using all of uh, these phases no kasi kasali sila so it are, they are interrelated with each other no so though it must it, it must start with the knowledge accumulation accumulation but the creative process can start anywhere kasi pwedeng pabalik-balik yan no okay so how do you develop your creativity so you recognize relationship no looking for different or unorthodox relationship among elements and people around you remember the process in the people no and developing functional perspective viewing things and people in terms of how they can satisfy his or her need and help complete a project okay so titingnan mo kung pwede ba yon that's why there's an incubation process no using your brains the right brain helps you understand analogies imagine things so the creative side of uh, the uh, person is uh, on the uh, on the right side the, the left brain helps us to analyze verbalize no and uh, use rational approaches no? to problem solving so okay uh, we'll skip this we'll we'll be doing this this, this is a lecture part since we are just lecturing no. Okay. Okay. So remember, the left hemisphere is on the organization side. The right hemisphere is on the uh, on the creative side. Okay. So, what are the imp impediments uh, to creativity? No? So, how do you eliminate modeling mindsets versus either uh, either or thinking or the uh, concern for certainty? Of course, meron pagdududa. No? Security hunting is a uh, concern for risk. Siyempre, everything has risk, but uh, you need to balance that. Stereotyping, no? abstracting reality. Ibig sabihin, uh, stereotyping means uh, kung paano ang tingin mo sa isang grupo ng tao, ganin nilalahat mo that stereotyping no ganun din you are stereotyping of the activities pag nangyari to ito yung susunod na mangyari that stereotyping okay so probability thinking is seeking predictable results no these are your impediments to creativity no there are different uh, types of creativity no so we have uh, idea, creativity, material creativity, organization creativity, and so on. So remember, uh, actually, marami pa yan, ano? But uh, what does that mean? Uh, people do have their own strengths and they have their own uh, creativity, no? A areas of creativity. So someone is good in music but not good in uh, fine arts, diba? And so on and so forth, no? The same, the same thing in the organization. Each has their own, uh, uh, each has their own uh, field no? or uh, uh, strengths. So in an in an organization, in a group that are creating ideas or generating ideas, you should consider other perspective as well. Okay. So, what's the characteristic of that creative climate? Of course, there's a trustful management that does not over control the personnel because you allow them to, to be empowered. Open channels of communication, considerable contact and communication, a large variety of personality type. Diba? That's why uh, on your business, you need to put up people that could do other things for you. No, hindi yung pare paro kayo ng nasa utak, siyempre. That eliminates the checks and balance of the business. No? Katulad nito, sufficient financial, managerial, human, and time resources. You, you put up people that are that are good with that, ano? Uh, with those areas. Okay, so uh, now let's uh, let's talk about innovation. So what's what's innovation? It's the process by which entrepreneurs convert opportunities or ideas into marketable solution. So from those problems, sinasolve nila yung problema ng yon at kinagawa nilang negosyo 
o pinagkakakita nila. So, it's a combination of the vision to create a good idea and perseverance and dedication to remain the concept through implementation. And it's a key function in the entrepreneurial process. No? Specific function of entrepreneurship. Okay? So, what is the innovation process? We have types of innovation. Let's discuss this. No? So, innovation from the word nova. No? Nova means new. No, that's that's a new idea. No? Uh, that's a new idea. Ibig sabihin, bright new idea. No? Uh, ibig sabihin, parang yung lalabas yung creative sa sa labas na sa labas na ulo mo no? may, may isang bumbilya. No? That's a bright new idea. Okay? So the first type of innovation is an invention. That means wala pang ganyan, naisip mo 'yan. No, that's invention. No? Mga scientists mostly do this. No? And then we have extension. What do we mean by extension? The product is already there, but there are certain problems with the product. No? And uh, the market tells that uh, parang may kulang or uh, I think there's a certain perspective on that. So you are developing new ideas for the product, no? such as... Uh, yung hindi same ng presentation no kumbaga uh, it serves other purpose no sample uh, in the past coffee has been uh, has been known for uh, a coffee yung coffee natin na uh, mainit no sineserve pag umaga no but uh, people had changed because of demographics their preferences uh, their behavior nagkakapina sila midday pero mainit so there came iced coffee and other ano. so you are extending what do this product can offer from uh, what do people need okay so uh, this is why the fidget spinner uh, did not uh, uh, innovate well ano kumbaga nahinto na dun sa product development so there's an extension of uh, the function and also the marketability of the product. Then we have what you call duplication. No? Uh, duplication means the idea is existing, but that idea no, can be uh, can be duplicated with uh, with other products. For example, the idea of vending machine. In the past, no, in the past, it has been known that uh, these uh, these vending machines are made for the dispense of bubble gums, no at saka mga saka soft drinks no in Japan they started that no? uh, I, I still remember nung no, kabataan ko meron talagang mga vending machine sa labas lang bubble gum magla- magulog ka ng piso no so swerte mo na kung dalawa yung lumabas ano? okay so that's uh, that's the technology or that innovation no so right now because of our uh, growing demand no that you want a quick uh, uh, a quick solution to some of your problems. Diba meron na tayong coffee vending machine ngayon? You don't need to go to a coffee shop and then uh, maglalagay ka limang piso, mahulog yung baso, tapos biglang mahulog na rin yung, ano, yung 3-in-1 pound uh, na naka, nalagyan na na mainit na tubig. No? No? That's innovation. That's duplication of that technology. And the uh, for all you know, na meron din tayong automated tubig machine sa concept of the ATM as well as a vending machine. Yun nga lang tubig. Merong nag-offer ng diretsong lalabas ng plastic. Tapos <laughs> may malamig na tubig. No? Ayun, parang para to sa mga nagbabasketball. Yung tawag nila ATM. Sa Maynila, marami yan. No? And then, uh, uh, it, it copied the concept or duplicated the concept. No? Uh, hindi ito direct link pangongopia, kundi, ay, let's try to implement that idea to a certain product that is all, also, also, I think, needed with that kind of process or innovation. Okay? So, what is synthesis? That means, it's a combination of the three, no? two, of, two or three of this. Uh, types of innovation. So you synthesize. You see what you can apply with this. No? Okay, so you have uh, your uh, sources of uh, innovation has been discussed earlier. No? 
Siyempre, maraming sources of innovation. So, that's the description of uh, the types of innovation. Totally new product, service, or process invention. And then, extension is new use or different application. You extend. Duplication is you correct. You you replicate the existing concept. Sabi ko nga. Di ba sa ano ngayon? Sa mga malls, di ba? May vending machine na rin sa napkin, tissue. Di ba? Okay, so that's the application of technology. Baka dumating yung time na even even yung ano yung mga cellphone uh binebending machine na rin, no? Disposable na rin. Oh, by the way, that's the idea, no? Yung mga disposable o oh, one time lang gamitin, no? Mga nakalimutan mo can be can be dispensed. No? Yun nga lang di magandang magnegosyo kahit saan ng ganito. Hindi katulad sa Japan. No, kahit wala magbantay because of their honesty and low crime rate, no. Dito kasi pag nilagay natin yung mga vending machine na yung biglang nawawala, no, or nasisira kinabukasan, no. Okay, that's also that that uh, hampers also our creative thinking process because of that idea, no. So, there are different misconceptions about innovation. Innovation is planned and predictable, no. There are unexpected occurrences that uh, puts up puts up creative uh, thinking process. Technical specification must be thoroughly prepared. No. Sabi ko nga, uh, sometimes it doesn't have to be planned. No, hindi lahat. Innovation relies on dreams and blue sky ideas. No. They, are real- they should be realistic idea to be implemented. Big projects will develop better innovation than smaller ones. No. Uh, majority, the biggest uh, innovations came from the small one. Technology is driving force of innovation success. Not that much, but uh, it carries. No, it carries the innovation success. No, eh, kung baga malaki na ito tulong pero it's not the driving force. No. Okay. So the principle of innov- innovation in- involves uh, to be involves you to be action oriented, make product, process, service simple and understandable. That's why convenience stores are there. Ito tandaan ninyo, marami na negosyo nagsimula dun sa pag-offer ng convenience. No? Uh, bottled water. No? Bottled water. Kesa sa magbit-bit ka po ng tumbler. Pero ngayon, uso na yung pagbibit-bit ng tumbler. Pero, of course, uh, that doesn't hamper yung ano ng bottled water. Start small, aim high. Try, test, revise, learn from failures, follow milestone schedule. Okay, and so on. You may uh, get back with this uh, using our PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so uh, that's the creative uh, thinking process or creative uh, idea generation process. Again, the process is coming from idea accumulation, accumulation, and then you incubate that limliman mo. No, that, that's the term. No, kumbaga pag-usapan natin. Let's have a creative discussion about it. No, constructive discussion about it, and we need to uh, to organize uh, no, what uh, what to what to implement. That's the idea, experience. What if we nawa natin to? Let us weigh these alternatives. No, and uh, let us try to test and implement that. No, and syempre, to evaluate what will happen. Okay, so uh, we'll be ending uh, in that note. I hope that you learn something new and something something deeper uh, this session. Uh, we'll be having our quiz on Thursday or activity on Thursday, no, uh, about this creative uh, ge- idea generation process. Okay, so babawi ako pasensya na, but uh, I need to attend uh, a meeting with uh, the owner of the school. Thank you.